All right, five fans, Seattle Mike MMA with friends here. And guys, I've been watching some of this Brave CF, and we've had a question. There's been an issue in MMA in getting Latino fans engaged. Latino fans big into boxing. They've been slower to pick up MMA for sure. And Brave CF, I think they've got it figured out. Though. They have Latino fighters. The biggest thing is they have exciting fights. This whole event, Brave CF, only one fight. One fight made it to the cards. And it was an exciting fight and maybe fight of the night. Uh, sometimes some of these are showcase fights. Some of the guys don't have the greatest records. But the matchmaking, the, when they look to make a match, they look to make the most exciting fight possible. Fighting out of the blue corner, 30 years old, 5-4 and four, as a professional, Alex Torres. And we got Colombia versus Brazil here in the main event. And uh, this fight, this main event, it, it's kind of a showcase fight, just a little bit uh, for that gentleman. And he is 13 and 6 coming into this. Got a Fredo Papi Castro. All right, out of Bogota, Colombia, guys. Got a Fredo Papi Castro in the red and white. Alex Arroyo Torres across the cage from him. And uh, how long this fight will go, I don't know. We'll see. But that dude is electric. Flying knees. Uh, he's got a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. He's got a black belt in a Muay Thai. Uh, this guy, he can fight on the ground. He can fight standing, fight everywhere. The fans here love him, even though they're in Colombia. He's getting a ton of cheers. The Brazilian guy fighting against the Colombian. And they talk about this guy back in the gym. They say he has an unpassable guard. Nobody in this gym can pass his guard. So I don't think that's going to be exactly Royo's. Uh, strategy here. I don't think it's going to be to take uh, Pape down, but uh, we will see. Alex Royo Torres. God Fredo or excuse me, God Fredo Pape Castro. Royo in the blue gloves. Pape in the red gloves here. And I said, Pape, very, very athletic. And he's already back in Torres up into the corner here. Oh, spinning wheel kick attempt there for Pape. I don't know if we're going to see Pape in Bellator or the UFC. Uh, you know, they need stars in these other organizations, too, in other countries. And God afraid of Pape, he is a star. And uh, he is the main attraction here at Bray 15. A big overhand right lands there for God Afredo. Look at the spinning wheel kick to the body here. Wow, lightning fast reflexes catches that kick and gets the takedown. Does God Afredo Castro. Oh, and look at the sweep here. And... So Godfredo says nobody can pass his guard at his gym. How good is he at passing the guard, though? Oh, and look at that slick little transition here. He's not in, though. For a second, I thought he might move straight to mount. Uh, in the open guard there. Athletic move there. But Torres gets back up. And look at that. Look at the backpack. Wow, and that was a quick transition. Uh, I mean... Uh, you know, a little bit of sloppiness there, but he's not giving up. Alex Royo Torres in a world of trouble right here. 
against Godofredo uh, Pape Castro. And if anything, I mean, that just takes a lot of energy to stand there with an opponent your weight on your back for that long. I mean, you're holding double your weight, literally. And here is, here, Godofredo going for a sleeper hole, going for the rear naked choke from the backpack here. But I just feel like you can do a lot from this position. Oh, wow. Bangs his head into the side of the cage there. And, I mean, that wasn't a foul. You know, he didn't grab him to take him in there. It's kind of, you know, just kind of led his weight over there. But, wow, he is really tiring Torres out right here. Oh, and he might be under the neck. He's going under the over the, the neck, guys, and I think that's going to be it. He doesn't get the Matt Hughes knockout there, and he's a, he's about to go out. And he's out! Wow, I thought Torres was going to go out unconscious, and he gets out, though. God afraid of Pape, though, he is not going to let you go. This guy, I mean, he is a boa constrictor. And you know, nothing against Nicaragua, but wins in Brazil come a hell of a lot tougher than they do in Nicaragua. It's just who's known for the, you know, the MMA and especially the jiu-jitsu, of course. Wow, and Godofredo really striking to the body and the head to break Torres down here. And I have not seen this fight yet. I'm watching this for the first time, as you guys are. But I just don't see Torres. I don't see him escaping from the ground. Oh, and Papa, he's got, he's got an arm. Got a fight on. There it is. There it is. Got a fight on uh, Papa Castro. Finishing off Alex Arroyo Torres with the arm bar there. And uh, that is your main event for Brave CF15. Let me know down in the comments. If you guys watched Brave before, uh, is this the first fight that you've seen from it? Uh, what do you think of Godofredo, Pape Castro? I would like to see him in there against, you know, some name opponents. But, I mean, you can't argue with the result. The performance was very good. I mean, and that slick transition to grab the back there. And, I mean, he's got the shoulder. He's really got a crucifix there. He's Look at that. How he steps over here. Well, there at the end, he almost has a crucifix. But he's got that whole shoulder and arm locked. And he really gives Torres nowhere else to go there. Beautiful arm bar finish for Godofredo Pape Castro. Thanks again for watching, guys. As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see your fine asses next time.